Hey, what is up, you guys? It is your boy, SF Barrier Sports Talk, and the Miami Marlins have signed veteran outfielder Matt Kemp to a minor league deal. The former Dodgers outfielder has been signed to help the Marlins address a specific area of need, which is their offense. If we look at last season, the Miami Marlins were dead last in the majors in home runs and runs scored. So it is definitely apparent that the Marlins need to upgrade this offense and the Marlins are looking to be able to add key veterans to be able to mix in with their younger core players as the Marlins have been, of course, in their rebuild, trading uh, lots of talent a couple years ago and pretty much building up a lot of prospects. And so they have a really good young nucleus going right now. And the good thing about this move from the Marlins with Matt Kemp is that being that he signed a minor league deal, this becomes a low risk and high reward type of move for the Marlins because if the Marlins decide after spring training they don't want to keep Matt Kemp on the roster, the Marlins are not going to be held accountable to pay him any money. So again, you get a chance to see what he can do in spring training. And the great thing about Kemp is that in the MLB winter meetings down in San Diego, Matt Kemp was in fabulous shape, so he definitely appears determined to have a bounce back season. So last year, it was not the best of seasons for Matt Kemp. He endured a injury riddled season in which he only appeared and had 60 at bats and he hit 200 with one home run and five RBIs. So historically, Matt Kemp, over his 14-year career, of course, I know him a lot from his early days with the Dodgers when he was a premium MVP candidate, but he has had an amazing career, hitting a career 285 with 281 home runs to go with 1,010 RBIs. So those are some very impressive numbers. And, you know, you definitely have to love his work ethic because even at the age he's at right now, he's determined to not allow, not essentially allow himself to just fade off into the sunset, which we seem to see some players do when they've made their money and, you know, the motivation, the sense of drive is lacking for players maybe later in their career. Not saying that happens to everyone, but, you know, I think it says a lot about a guy's character when he can be resilient and bounce back from adversity. And so the Marlins have a history of bringing in veteran outfielders for a potential bench role or, of course, be able to spot start, give guys days off. And so, again, this is another one of those types of moves. But, again, with it being no risk almost whatsoever because if it works out for you, it works out. And if it doesn't, you're not held accountable for any money. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. And then, you know, see what you can get. Maybe you find lightning in a bottle with Matt Kent. The other big thing is that Matt Kemp is going to be reunited with his former big league manager, Don Mattingly. As you know, Don Mattingly's first year managing the Dodgers back in 2011 was actually the season, <clears throat> excuse me, the season that Matt Kemp was second in MVP voting. So, you know, just amazing that I think when you be able to build these relationships and these kind of connections with people, sometimes I think it does help bring the best out of you and bring you in a comfort zone. After all, playing Major League Baseball at the highest level is no easy task. And so it is very important to be relaxed, to have your muscles, um, cone line, everywhere in your body to be getting you to be able to perform on the field at the most absolute highest level. And so let's get more into the Miami Marlins offseason agenda. So we spoke, of course, they need to continue to add impact bats, which again, signing Matt Kemp is a move and trying to go in that direction. But now let's look at one of their big strengths. So one of the biggest strengths of this Miami Marlins baseball team is, in fact, their young starting pitching. So they have a fabulous rotation, and I'm going to read you guys the names that their rotation features right now. They have Sandy Alcantara, they have Caleb Smith, they have Pablo Lopez, and then they have some big top up-and-coming prospects, Sixto Sanchez, and also Edward Cabrera. So, you know, that is going to be huge because... You have teams in baseball right now that are really in need for starting pitching help. And when you have a young team coming up, it's always great to have young arms. 
Um, because, you know, I've seen it with the Giants when we were able to build our World Series contending teams. You know, we had the young starting pitching developing and coming up in 2007 through 2009, leading into the first World Series in 2010. So that's going to be key. Now, another area that the Miami Marlins are looking to address this offseason is they are looking to upgrade their bullpen. So, you know, again, they have a nice young core of players, but they are looking for the veterans, you know, the leadership guys that are going to be able to get the best out of the young guys. You have a good mesh of veterans and a good mesh of young talent together. That has the makings to be an absolute amazing baseball team. So the Marlins will continue to try to address those needs. Now, Sergio Romo will not be going back to the Marlins. They traded him to the Minnesota Twins at the trade deadline. And Sergio Romo is um, has elected to re-sign with the Minnesota Twins. So it will be interesting to see what this Marlins team looks like next uh, next season you know I do think that they will have a chance to be competitive because you look at that starting rotation and you look at the prospects they have coming up starting pitching will keep you in a lot of games it will just be a question of will this offense be able to come together and score the pitchers you know enough runs and so guys with that being said I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you made it all the way through to the end of this video, then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you have not done so already. If you would like to be notified when brand new breaking Major League Baseball news is coming your way, we'll be coming to you guys live with all the latest news. And so I want to take this time now to thank all of you guys for watching my videos. I absolutely appreciate you guys and I would not be here without all of you. So don't ever be afraid to comment down below. I love to hear your perspective and your guys' thoughts on everything going around baseball. Marlins fans out there, what are your thoughts on the move to signing Matt Kemp? Again, it's a low-risk, high-reward move. So I think that in this case, you know, you can't be too um, unhappy or, you know, too upset. You only can hope for the best for Matt Kemp that he will bounce back next season, have a great year, which I think he is more than capable of doing. So guys, let me know your thoughts. And as always, until next time, I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.